completely new universe. You're gonna see cool characters, badass vehicles, and helmets trying to survive in this crazy world. If you like action, adventure, westerns, fantasy, 80s cartoons, and classic sci-fi, Rook has all of that. This planet Exodus was a utopia where technology controlled every aspect of nature, including the animals. And these wardens were set up to control the animals. Each of the wardens has a helmet that looks like the animal that they can control. Rook has that scavenger instinct of crows and swine, you know, he takes on those traits of pigs and direwolf is more of a regal pack hunter. But the world engine broke and everyone who could afford to left. And the only people left on Exodus were the employees brought there. You have characters controlling wild creatures, battling for the future of this planet. I've never seen Jay unleash himself like this. I'm really trying to draw a bold, epic story. I want readers to want to go to this world, smell the air and feel the heat. I'm really excited about that book. I can't wait for people to check it out. All of us here at Ghost Machine love Redcoat. The Unknown Universe starts in 1776 when he accidentally becomes immortal. Whose adventures are painted across the canvas of American history. It's no more historical documentary than Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Jones. And I suppose that's the tone we're going for. Big action adventure, a lot of fun. He's an absolute scoundrel, a rebel. Unwittingly a bit of an idiot. Arrogant. Very flawed. Sometimes pathetic. <laughs> but you just can't help but love him. He's going to interact with a young Albert Einstein who is trying to get Simon to teach him magic. And he's going to team up with Davy Crockett to fight Sasquatches. He's not looking to rule the world. He's not looking to save the world. He stumbles in and out of other people's world-ending dramas. Geiger, number one, kicks off this new monthly series that centers around Geiger's mission to find a cure for himself. For me, the satisfaction of this is delivering the story in as potent a way as possible. I've never seen an artist put so much acting in characters than Gary Frank. The art is cinematic. Brad, we call him the master of light because of his colors. It's a lot of mood and I really try to play out what the story demands. He can make Geiger even glow during the day. And then when Rob comes on and does the lettering, it adds a whole other layer to it. For the first issue of Geiger, we had a double page spread that was just going to be the Geiger logo. But I want to give a sense of place, so I found this abandoned maintenance building. It had this great rusted steel door. I snapped a bunch of photographs and crafted that Geiger logo that looks like it was welded on, that rusty background. And the Geiger series, starts to open the world of the unnamed. That includes Redcoat, First Ghost, The Northerner, and Junkyard Joe. It's really liberating to have that scale to build this epic story. 